Hi guys, today I was really inspired, so we did part 3 of our convict conditioning flag, the kick press. This was with my warm up. I did some leg raises on my grandmother's walker. She just came out of the hospital, so she has a couple of walkers that I mess around with. Another exercise is just go by a wall and do like a side kick. This will warm up the legs. It will also warm up the side of the body and some of uh, your obliques. Obviously, don't forget to do the opposite side. Breathe and just kick out. And this will also warm up the legs for when you kick into your flagging position. Another exercise I did is just knees from one side, knees to the other, knees from one side, knees to the other. Some have asked me what I look like under my pajamas, so this is what I look like. I'm not totally ripped, but that's how it goes. Another exercise is a uh, knee towards the chest, and this will also warm up uh, some of the obliques. It will warm up the legs. Ultimately, don't forget to do the opposite side. This year was in our backyard. It was really fun. Today was really warm. Montreal is re usually very cold, so this was a nice day to work out outside. Next thing is I went to my tree and I practiced jumping. I didn't quite bring the legs over the torso yet. This was just a little warm up and then obviously the opposite side. So you can almost practice these exercises anywhere you go that there's a pole of some sort and or a wall. And so it was really fun to do these exercises today in my backyard. So, one thing I realized in this exercise is that straight arm strength is very important for the bottom arm when you're flagging. So it's very normal that it'll bend a bit, but the straighter the arm, the easier the flag will be. So here I did a kick press assisted with uh, the little uh, bench, and here my, my legs went way above my torso. I did a little bit of an abdominal exercise towards it. Then. I found some money on the floor, so I picked it up. It was a good day to do the flag, I must say. And we did the opposite side. Ultimately, you won't be as strong on one side as you are towards the uh, other side, but you want to work it as much as possible as not to create more imbalances. Here I did it more dynamically, so basically lift the legs. Again, I'm way stronger on this side. The opposite side, I needed to do it while still touching the floor and lifting. It's still pretty decent uh, progression if you ask me, but it needs a lot of work. Uh, next exercise was my first sort of flag of the day, if you will. Uh, needs a lot of work still, but it's getting there. So I kick pressed as much as possible. I tried to bring my leg over my torso. Here was the last couple of flags I did. It's coming along, four step three, I must say. Just a little note, guys. Do uh, uh, stretch out your shoulders after you're done. Flagging is very, very punishing on the shoulder area and sometimes it creates a lot of stiffness and tension. So take five minutes after you've practiced the flagging of any sort and just stretch out your shoulders if possible. Guys, I had a lot of fun making this video and namaste. Have yourself a beautiful day.